guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a tutorial that's actually based off of this uh, palette by Urban Decay the Glenda palette so the reason why I decided to um, dig this palette out is because Urban Decay has decided to make one of the shadows Aura this duo has two shadows and one pan they decided to make it a single shadow and it's actually it came out a couple days ago for sale it's eighteen dollars like their normal eyeshadows are but I decided since they decided to bring this out I might as well should bring out this palette that I haven't used in a while even though I wanted it like crazy I got caught up in the hype but anyway here's two swatches of the shadows They're, it's really interesting like the dual they're both white with like a dual chrome almost like this one is purple this one is like this peaches pink peachy peachy pink and I'm wearing both of them um as highlights though like this one is under my brow bone and this one is in my inner tear duct and they're just so pretty I need to I'll put a thing here yeah in case you don't know this is yeah this is what the inside of the palette looks like there are six shades mm -hmm. <laughs> excuse that there are six shades and I think all of them are exclusive to this palette which I know I mean it was on sale for $14 a, like a year ago I was kind of upset about that but whatever the main shadow that I was all over my eyes is South. I use South and the gray shade in. I mean, excuse me, the silver shade in Oz. This Oz, which is another shadow that has two shadows in one pan. And it's a gold and a silver. And I'll swatch those somewhere on my hand that I can find space. So, yeah. And those a shout out for Oz. So if you like this look, please keep watching. Okay, so first I'm taking this eye base from Be A Bombshell and Submissive. And I'm applying that. Next, I'm taking South and I'm applying that to my eyelids. Now I'm taking Chickadee from Makeup Geek and I am applying that into my upper crease as my transition shade. Now I'm taking Brown Script from MAC and I'm applying that into my crease for definition. So I'm taking Tornado from the Glindle palette which is a dark purple shade and I'm applying that to my outer V. I'm reapplying South to build back up any lost pigmentation. I'm applying the silver shade from the Oz eyeshadow to my eyelid. Now I'm lining my eyes with my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. This eyeliner is so much easier to apply than my NYC one or my L'Oreal one. I've had it for so long and I never use it. I don't know what's going on with me. taking the peachy shade from the aura eyeshadow and I'm applying that to my brow bone and then I'm taking the purpley shade and I'm applying that to my inner tear ducts I'm applying south to the inner third of my lower lash line now I'm taking my Urban Decay 24-7 pencil and Rockstar and I'm applying that to the outer third and dragging it down onto my lash line. I'm applying it to my inner tear duct as well. Now I'm applying my Lancome 
Hypno Shama Mascara. Because that mascara is like clump city for me, I have to comb my lashes out afterwards. Now I'm applying Benefit's What's Up highlighter to my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, and to my cupid's bow. Now I'm contouring with my NARS Contour Blush and Gina. And now I'm applying this pink blush from Inglot. I forgot the number. I'll list it down below. Now I'm applying a MAC lip liner in the shade Cork. And lastly, I'm applying my MAC lipstick in taupe. So this is the finished look. If you like it, please subscribe, thumbs up, and comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. It's going to be a tutorial on this look that I'm wearing. And it's very Valentine's Day inspired.